Hi, Mikey. Heavy K's baby mama went online gun blazing with allegations that Heavy K is not paying maintenance for the kids. This is what she said in her rant. All you ever do is to make empty promises and that you are good at it. Do you know who bought winter clothes for your kids? It's me. Do you know who pays for any specialist or doctor's appointments? It's me. Because my mother would call you to tell you that the kids are sick. But what do you ever do? Okay, Oled, I will send money. Do you ever do it? No. All you ever tell my mother is that you are a busy man. Too busy for your own kids. Then you want to earn respect from me. Never. What I am doing right now is not who I am. But you've pushed me way too far. And you continue to disrespect me as if I am not trying to be the best mom for your kids. You've been saying you want to take your kids and live with them. But also... It's part of my um, of your games cause Galokumna I'm not fit enough to live with my kids cause I sleep around with Nigerians. That is in inverted commas. Like you would always say, and God knows I thank those Nigerians cause their money takes care of my kids. And I sleep peacefully knowing that the very same Nigerians that you always insult me about are the same ones that made sure that your kids have Christmas clothes in 2019. Because when you decided to send 3000 for food and clothes and I will never forget that December. I was down and out had just moved out of our home and you did that to your boys. I don't care whether your things are going well or not. I need you to make a change and make a plan for my kids, just like I am working and selling my pussy, to make sure I make provision for my kids. Now I get put, make a plan. I am tired of you. You are tiring. And I want people to know what you are putting your kids through. Call me psycho or bitter. At this point, I don't give a f. For my kids, I will do anything. I want a wheelchair for Juju. And I want you to make a plan like you have been promising the past two years. I can't be paying for physios alone. Speech therapies, occupational hydrotherapy is needed. Make a plan. And I pray that the mother of your last born never has to go through what I am going through right now. Because when things go wrong with the baby mama and you have proved to me that you also turn your back, Gwinzala Yaku. Your kids miss you. Try and call them, even if it's four times a month. It will make a huge difference to them. Also, Yuri's birthday is coming in the next two weeks. Please send money for a cake, because I did it for Juju in October. It's your turn now. Also, please send money for Christmas clothes, because Zia Pela. And my kids are not used to not dressing up on Christmas. But this time, I can't do it. You, you need to. Also, Juju's epilim is almost finished. And I don't have the money for it. So please take over. You know how you always said, I'm a bitch. Rubbish, gazi, psycho. Now I have succumbed to those words. I am not, I am now psycho and until you do right by your kids, I will continue to be psycho. This is only a start, not with my kids. Anyone that knows me well 
will know how much I have tolerated your nonsense. Just do the right thing. That's it. Such a pity that I don't have my old phone no more. I wanted people to see how much of a rude man you've been to me. Even after our relationship was over, you've pushed me way too far. Mkulul, way too far. Now, I am a psycho baby mama. And I repeat, this is a start. Now, this was posted by the baby mama who is i mean who goes by the name of ndombi this is a whole lot of drama and i do hope that heavy k does the right thing because this truly does ruin his reputation it may not be gender-based violence but it is a total abuse on the children please do not forget to subscribe